Cogs, how do you reflect on the last week now that the, the dust has settled a little bit? Yeah, I guess I guess a bit of a sour taste in everyone's mouth. Um, you know, we did, obviously did not an incredible run, sort of into finals, and then with our first, second, and third game, we were you know fantastic in each. And I think some of the better memories we've had at this footy club, and a really special run that you know we fell short on on Saturday, and it was a uh, you know it was tough to watch in in, in, the, in, in the stands. I could only imagine what it would have been like for the boys, but um, yeah, as long as we can grow from it, I think that's the most important thing. The resilience, though, to make it there when you talked about how many players that were missing, with, with yourself being one of them, uh, it's something impressive from the squad, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I think um, you know there was obviously a lot said in the media in the last couple of weeks about you know the footy club, and obviously when you go deeper into finals and there's less teams, there's a little bit more spotlight, and you know people were saying some really nice and positive things about you know our organisation and, and and our fans, and you know for us we. And, and, and you guys know that as, as, as staff members, we've been building that for a long time, and it hasn't just came, hasn't just come overnight, or um, just because we, you know, won our first final, it's already changed. We've, we've been doing this for a while. We know we've had our, you know, battles over the last couple of years with injuries, and um, and you know that came to that came to a point in the finals where we got, you know, a fair contingent of our uh, players back, and really made it a great charge. But in terms of that resilience, yeah, it couldn't be, you know, prouder of some of the performances we put in, particularly in the finals. Something that you, you must be proud of, given that you're one of the original giants, is the, the fans and members' reaction, record membership this year, and then the turnout at both the parade and then the MCG on Grand Final Day was yeah. uh, pretty special. Wasn't yeah, it? like I think even when you when you cast back to a couple of years ago in, in the prelim against Richmond, and, and you compare the orange and the crowd on the weekend to, to what it was like then, it was just fantastic. I mean, I think I said last week, but walking onto the field after after the Collingwood win um, down to that far end. And looking at three levels of, of orange, and then you look over the other side, and there's more orange. It was, you know, it gave you goosebumps and a, and a real sense that this is only just going to get bigger. And for yourself, 2019's been massive, hasn't it? It's been a big year. Yeah, it's um, yeah, the break's coming to coming to you know a good time for me to be good to just sort of um, get away and and, and and recharge the batteries, I guess you could say. Um, for a little bit, it's been a you know definitely definitely lots of emotions going through this year, but. Um, you know, you know, special one for myself. Yeah, for you, yourself, you had that that pressure about your contract, and then you re-signed, and then you had obviously the setback with your knee, and that big decision to not um, push for a place in in the grand final team. Um, what powered you through that? What did you use to to give you strength when um, you know times maybe were a little bit tough, and, and that pressure was on? Yeah, it's. Um I was blessed that I was pl I was playing. It was the, the hardest bit was probably when I stopped playing and when I, when I got injured and it, and it sort of got a little bit later in the, a little bit later in the year. I, I remember ch talking to Josh Kelly at the start of the year about you know what he found worked during during his year when he went through it a couple of years ago when he didn't sign till till very late on and he just said that that footy on the weekend was kind of a release. But yeah, I, I guess I guess for me I just kept coming back to what I'm what I'm grateful for most in life and I found. That, that sort of centered me out every morning before I'd get to the club, um, you know, reading reading that and just that would just put me in a in a better space. I wouldn't be thinking about externally what's happening. I, I, I didn't really read too much press um, as it was about it. I knew I had to make the, my own decision um, for, for myself. And then once I made that call, it was just such a relief. Um, and yeah, I'm just 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 over the moon to be able to to be able to stay for, for so long and then the injury in the last couple of weeks trying to get back that was just fueled by how exciting it was um, and then and the, and the chance to play in a, in a, in a grand final and a, and a premiership so yeah definitely uh, definitely some mixed emotions over the, over the course of the year. Yeah. And now 2020, um, how do you look upon next year and what's to come? Yeah I look at it with great excitement I think um, you don't have to be Einstein to, to know that we've got a, you know a, a group that's capable of some really some really great things and obviously we still haven't won that that, that first premiership but um you know I've got no doubt with you know, the boys go away now and get and get a good rest and you know 2020 onwards is looking bright for for, for the footy club. And you said you're going to have a bit of a break. I believe a fair bit of soccer is going to be watched during that time in Europe. Yeah, there'll be a fair bit, so it'll be, it won't have to be uh, getting up at 5 a.m. Or, or 6 a.m. to watch games now. I'll be able to watch them. You know, in prime time, so heading over with Tobes um, and another friend to, to Europe for a little bit, um, check out a couple of soccer clubs and, and, and watch a few ga games along the way, so looking forward to that.